Hello everybody, Hudson here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Fear the Wolves. Yes, it is another Battle Royale game that has recently released, but no one really seems to be talking about it all that much, at least not from what I've seen. We all know that the Battle Royale scene is very populated at the moment, and a lot of people are fed up with the ones seemingly always popping up, but I'm very much of the belief that if it's good enough, then there's always room for more. Apex Legends kind of proves that point. After all, competition is what drives people to the creation of new and better ideas. So why am I talking about Fear the Wolves? Well, it's a game I played a few months back on my Twitch channel when the developers held a few closed testing sessions. I could see the potential with the game, but it was very buggy and had some serious connection issues. Now that it's hit its 1.0 release date, I'm happy to say that those issues seem to be resolved, and what we're left with is actually a really good battle royale game with some solid and interesting mechanics. There's a problem though, the population. Obviously, a totally multiplayer game like this lives and dies by its player base, and Fear the Wolves seems to be struggling to gain traction. It's a paid-for title, which, in a genre that's already so bloated, is probably one restriction too many for a lot of people. Two, Apex Legends just released and it's free. It's terrible timing for Vostok Games, but how were they to know that a AAA studio was just about to drop a very, very good competitor? So how do you get people to try your game when it seems that not many other players are playing it? Firstly, they've been doing a free week, so you can jump in and try it out for nothing, which, at the time of posting this, is still running. It's also been on sale for half price, and I fully expect that sale price to pop up a few times in the near future. But you also need a good game to back up your free trial, and I think they have one. I really do. In Fear the Wolves, you can play solo or duo. You spawn randomly on the map, no dropping in from the air, which was a little jarring at first, because I thought I was in a lobby on my first game back, and I just stood around for a while doing nothing. You'll then need to loot up just like any other battle royale game, but the map is heavily irradiated in certain areas, meaning you'll need gear to be able to survive the radiation. The zone closes in in a grid-based style, so no slowly closing ring, and it creates some interesting channels to be funneled down, but it also means it's hard to predict where the game will end because at any moment the grid you're in could become dangerous and you'll have to quickly run to a clear zone to be safe. You will get an on-screen warning before this starts to happen and you'll then see the zone start to fill with floating red dots, indicating you need to GTFO. As long as you're sprinting before the zone goes fully red, you won't take damage, giving you sufficient time to get out. When looting, you can also come across maps that when picked up will mark a specific area that contains high-tier loot, so it's worth keeping an eye out for them. There will also be random buildings that are boarded up and will need an axe to break into it. Whilst these are only little things, it all adds up to create a more interesting gameplay loop. There are a decent variation of guns and attachments to check out, and they feel pretty good to use, and the shooting itself feels pretty spot on, even if the sounds are a little lacklustre at times. Players aren't the only danger you'll encounter though. There are also roaming packs of wolves that will attack you on sight. The pathing AI is a little janky, but for the most part they can track you pretty well. There are also these strange spots that contain anomalies that will damage you should you enter them. They kind of shimmer in a globe-like state, and if you're not paying attention, can be a little tricky to spot. The weather will also change dynamically as you go, completely changing how you might have been playing. Maybe you were sniping before, but now a thick fog has rolled in, forcing you into close combat. It keeps you on your toes and the gameplay feeling fun. They've also recently added in a few other surprises, such as artifacts that can be obtained from lockdown zones or by killing a wolf matriarch, which is essentially a boss mode wolf. These artifacts give you temporary abilities like being able to see other players through objects. Again, it's a small thing, but it all adds up to a cool gameplay loop. To win, you can kill everyone else as is the standard in a battle royale game, but you can also try and evacuate on a chopper before everyone else is dead. It's a risky move, but if you've no other option, then it could be the one that works for you. Personally, I really think Fear the Walls is a good game, but I feel like a hypocrite because whilst I like it, I don't really want to buy it. And there are a few reasons for this. Firstly, the player base being low could mean the game is dead in a few months. Secondly, my friends don't have it, and we like to play online games together and kind of keep our group playing together. Thirdly, there are already very good options for battle royale games that I'm sure most people already own or are free. And that's the problem with the genre at the moment. You can make a great game, but if you can't pull people away from what they already know and love, and we all know that people hate change, then you're going to struggle. I think the game needs something else to offer players. I think it would play really well as a survival game. In fact, I'd actually love it to be a survival game. Adapting the current map, loop and AI for a survival style game would be really, really fun. 
I'd love to explore the map slowly and fight packs of wolves and giant mutated beasts, hunt down gear to allow me access to high radiation areas with other high tier loot. Whilst you can do these things in the game already, it's all over a bit too quickly for that battle royale formula. You don't really get the chance to explore things or take it all in. As I've said, I think Fear the Wolves is a good game and if you like battle royale games, definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.